so good morning everyone now uh, i'll tell you some more option in the home menu so in the last lecture in the last lab session we have covered uh, up to this form in painter now just start the uh, next option which is available in home menu so what is the next option the font style option is here so for example you have clicked on you want to change the font style of only this much of lines okay so you have selected these four lines now if you want to uh, change the font style of these four lines into like uh, arial black then you can do so you will select the arial black font style from here then if you want to decrease or increase the size then what you can do you can select any of the size okay you can even write any of the size uh, for example you have written here 16 so the 16 size of these four lines will be 16 then now what are the other uh, options this is basically the bold option first of all you just change the font style for example you have changed it into times new roman now uh, for example you want to apply this bold option so this will be highlight your uh, these four lines which you have selected okay so if you will click on it your these uh, selected text your selected content will be bold okay and if you want to uh, perform uh, the italic formatting then you can do so by clicking on this italic font is uh, italic formatting then after that if you want to underline this then you can do so and if you want to remove any of this style then you can do so by deselecting this for example if you want to remove the bold option then obviously you can remove that by uh, disabling these options if for example you want to disable this underline option then it got disabled if you will deselect this option then what are the other option for example you have selected the complete paragraph and uh, you have make uh, you have made the same size for this complete paragraph now if you want to perform this strike through option strike through option means the complete selected te text will be striped by this like this okay so this is not not used in any of the field but if you want to use then you can do so then after that the next option is subscript and superscript subscript and superscript is basically required and if you want if you are writing any kind of equation for example you are writing x square so you have written here first of all you just uh, disable this option like so you want to write x square plus y square x square for example you want to write x square so for this purpose this is basically uh, or for writing the x square you have to click on superscript option so this is basically the superscript option so first of all you have to click on the superscript then only you can write x square okay then after that you have to deselect means you have to uh, deselect this option then only you can write plus for example you will you have seen the selected it then you can write plus then after that you want to write y square so if you want to write y square then you have to again click on this square option okay so this will be done now if you want to write uh, like um, what do you want to write like log base uh, 10 for example you want to write log base 10 so first of all you just disable this point log and after that in the subscript uh, option uh, means in case in base you want to write 10 then what you have to do you have to click on this subscript option so you will click on subscript option then only you can write log base 10 so this is basically base log base 10 then after that if you want to write log base 10 is equals to 
one upon then what you have to do you have to deselect this content uh, this uh, setting then then only you can write log base then equals to whatever you want to write okay now what is the other option the next option is of like if you want to increase the size then uh, you can do so by clicking on this button okay this is basically the option if you want to grow the font if you want to increase the size of the font like this and if you want to decrease the size of these font or these selected uh, text then you can do so by clicking on this decrease option done then uh, this option uh, is used for giving the effects to your selected text for example you want to uh, like uh, give uh, the effects to your uh, fonts like this then you can do so by clicking on this option you can even give any any kind of outline to your font you can even give shadow to your font you can gi even give reflection to your font okay so these all are the number of options which you can perform on to your selected text done i think it is clear now suppose uh, you want to highlight your text then these are basically the highlighting colors okay these are basically the highlighting colors for example if you want to highlight uh, this uh, line okay then if you want to highlight it then you can click on this button okay so that particular selected content will be highlighted done now the next thing like if you want to change the font uh, color then you just select the content which you want to color it then after that you just choose any kind of color from here okay then if you want to erase all the these settings then you can click on this option if you want to erase all kind of setting from any of the selected content then it it can be done by clicking on this erase erase or clear formatting button then now what are the other options for example these are what these are basically the alignments so there are basically four kind of alignments in ms word so this question can be asked in exams also how many types of alignments are there in uh, ms word so there are basically four type of alignments uh, this is basically the left side alignment this is the right side alignment this is center alignment and this is justified alignment like justified alignment is basically used if you if uh, uh you just check this paragraph then uh, you will click on justified uh, paragraph then only the paragraph will be look like this okay now these are what these are basically the styles the heading styles so this is one kind of heading style this is one another kind of heading style this is third kind of heading style 4 5 so different different uh, heading styles are present here you can choose any of the one now if you want to uh, like uh, uh, if you want any kind of list in your document like you are writing that there are two types of printer then after that you have written like impact printer and uh, non impact printer non impact printer now if you want to give number to these two printers then what you have to do first of all you have to select these two uh, list then you have to click on from uh, this option so uh, what type of uh, formatting you want to do uh, in your uh, these types of printers for example if you have selected this so it can be done if you want to give numbering to these uh, two types of printer then it can be done by selecting this like which type of uh, counting you want to uh, give to these two types of printers okay done 
Now this is what this is basically two types of indenting that is left indenting and right indenting. If you want to like uh, set the these two types of printers will be located in the right position then you will click on this right indenting. And if you want like uh, these two types of printers will be located only on the left then you will click on this option. Okay? Then this is what if you want to change like if you want to uh, short your paragraph according to the uh, like font according to the alphabet which is mentioned in the first line of your paragraph then it can be uh, done only with the help of this option for example you have selected this paragraph so uh, if you will apply the setting that is short the paragraph with the help of text okay or only in ascending order then what will be happen the a letter will be the sentence which is starting from the letter a will come first so this line will come first then after that b is not here c is also not here then d d is here that means the second line will be department government or this then the third line will be e that is education then a d e that is 1 2 3 4 then after that f is not here then g great computer so this will be the fourth line okay. so you just you can check it For example, you have selected the paragraph like this. Now you are clicking on the option. Then what will be happened? Like this D, the letter which is starting from D will come first. Then the letter which is starting from E will come here. Then the letter which uh, which is starting from H will come here. And after that I, I will come uh, in the fourth session. so this was all about like how to short or how to perform shorting into your uh, word file also okay and there is one more option is here that is find and replace option so if you want to find any of the um, like uh, any of the uh, text you want to find out then you can click on find button for example you have clicked on find button then uh, for example you want to search for printer then you can write it here like printer okay so the uh, area where the printer is uh, written it will be highlighted done it will be highlighted and if you want to replace that printer with printers then it can be done so, uh, by clicking on find button then where the printer is uh, written then in place of that you just replace it with printers you just replace the printer with capital p r i n t e r you just replace it okay so sorry uh, you are finding for printer and uh, you are changing this printer to capital p r i n t e r printer printers okay so if you click on replace all then all the options where the uh, uh, printer uh, printer was written that will be replaced by printers Okay, as you can see with the help of these three. So thank you everyone. Thank you so much.